Hello, hello. So, can we still live stream to Twitter? That question's been popping up a lot lately over the past few days, weeks, uh, and for good reason. So, uh, let's talk tech about the current state of video over on Twitter. Buckle up. Hello and welcome. So, um, we have been getting a lot of questions here and, uh, I figured it was just better to do a show and this way I could just point everybody here for the answer rather than continually typing it over and over again. Um, and the question is what happened to live video on Twitter? Um, specifically I've been getting a lot of questions about, uh, the, um, what do they call it the media studio producer, because that's where those of us who were using RTMP connections, which is a fancy thing. You don't have to really understand it. If, but if you were using it, um, you were used to going there and setting up your stream and getting your RTMP code and doing all the things so that you could live stream over on Twitter. And what's, well, here, I'll show you what's happening. Um, let me just get the link and we'll go through it together. Uh, okay, so the link used to be, and I've got it in the uh, description if you're curious, but uh, let's switch over here. So as you can see, they're still promoting it, but let me just pop in the URL. So the URL was studio.twitter.com forward slash producer. And you used to be able to put that in and get to a page that had all this all of your media, your post, the images you did, the video, and that's where you would go to select producer and set up your uh, stream key to go ahead and stream live. Now, however, it sends you here, which is a page that does a lot of talking, but doesn't explain why we got redirected here. And it's a completely different URL. It's create.twitter.com. And it talks about a bunch of different things, but doesn't actually answer any questions for us. So what the hell is going on? Um, and this is still here, so we will talk about that in a minute. But that's what's generating a lot of the conversations that are coming to me because I've done a couple of videos about how you can live stream to Twitter, um, starting back when the Periscope thing ended uh, up to recent times. So, yes, it's gone. I mean, that's TD, uh, TL, whatever. Uh, if it's too long and you don't want to listen to the whole thing, the reality is it's gone. Um, and no, it does not look like we can RTMP uh, live stream there anymore. Now, we had inklings that this was coming, which I covered a few weeks ago, because they did make a very quiet announcement. They whispered it in the dark in a corner someplace um, that I did happen to catch that time that told us that if you wanted your video that you had posted on Twitter, you'd better go download it because we're going to delete it all. And they've done that. It's gone. Um, and I can show you that in a moment. Um, and when that happened, the conversation started of, okay, what does this mean? What is the impact going to be? All that kind of good stuff. And here we are. Welcome to the impact. Uh, it is definitely here. So yeah, no more live streaming. Now, this, of course, sent me down a rabbit hole. No pun intended for those of you who have been following my IRL posts about the bunnies in the backyard. Um, but I was like, okay, how severe is this? So um, doing my due diligence... I did go in and check out my mobile and okay. So when I go in, I don't see anything here that says go live, but I'm like, okay, well maybe they switched it over to the tweet. So I went in and I clicked on that and no, I cannot post. I cannot start a live stream to Twitter from my mobile device either. Now, you know, back in the day, that was how you did it, right? And that's how a lot of us, you know, like when things were breaking, when something was happening in the news, that was where we went. We would go and we would check out Twitter because people would be there in the moment and they would be live streaming it. Um, that was the same thing. That's really how Periscope got a lot of its attention. Murphy, stop. Thank you. Um, so that's gone too. Now um, I'm on Android. So maybe you Apple folks are going to have a different experience. I don't know if you do, please feel free to go ahead and jump into the uh, comments and let me know. But as far as I know, it's gone. So I went digging around, you know, for other things. And basically there's no information out there. Like there, I see no indication that there was any notification, any warning posted, any messages about it. And because Twitter is such a dumpster fire, and this I totally understand, right? There's a lot of weird stuff going on over there. Um, and if you're looking for common sense, it's probably not a good location these days. 
Um, but because there's so much nonsense happening there, I'm not even seeing anybody posting about this, like, in the socials, or I don't see it in, like, the, the tech kind of uh, mainstream press kind of thing. It seems to be a big secret, and I guess people are hitting it as they go to do it, and they're like, what happened? Um, but it's not getting a lot of normal press because of all the other things. Like, for example, uh, and this by the time you see this in the future, it's probably going to change again, but in the moment now, we're being told that our feeds are going to be filled with only people who pay. Whatever. But the point being, there's a lot that's wrong, a lot that's imploding, a lot that's on fire over there, and um, the Twitter media studio and media studio producer is a casualty in all of that stuff that is going on. Um, and yes, uh, this also means that you cannot go live from the app from what I could see. I also try just for kicks to go live from the browser to see if I could do that. Um, and that did not work either. Why is this going on? I mean, I, you know, I, I trying to explain this level of insanity, I think is probably pointless. Um, but it's, it had one pattern that is clear uh, is that Twitter has definitely, well, Forces of Twitter um, have clearly have been deprioritizing video and possibly even audio. I'm starting to hear rumbles over that um, since the recent changes have happened. So our, well, and let me go and show you that. So our videos are gone. So let's go to, well, let me actually, let me just back you up a little bit. So just for, you know, yes, it's not you and no, you're not crazy. Yes, they still are advertising the media producer. They still do a whole thing about it and it goes on and on and it tells you how to use it and all that kind of good stuff. Um, this also means live cut is gone, which was a third party thing that was purchased. Um, and that is also gone, but if you actually try to go into it, it doesn't exist anymore. So there is that. Um, for just giggles here, let me just refresh this. Whoops, come back. So when you go in and you look at your Twitter data, which by the way, also is not completely reliable. Um, if it ever was certainly less so now, um, you know, you'll see what's going on and what you've been doing and all this kind of stuff. But if you go here where you used to be able to see your videos, your videos are gone now. Okay. Now I have not maybe, you know, been doing it in the past 28 days. So let's go back to December when I know I did videos and they're not there. So the other reality is that, you know, and it doesn't matter. Like I went back way back. I went into the Wayback machine. I know for sure I was, I was still streaming to Twitter then and it's telling me nothing, even though I did. Right. So it's, it's gone. Like nothing is here. There's no data. There's no videos. There is nothing. However, for some giggles, I did try going live from vMix. Okay. So vMix is the streaming tool that I use um, to broadcast to you folks. Uh, and it's one of several tools that are out there, many tools that are out there. So there's two basic ways that I used to do this from my setup here, right? With all my cool gear and my nice camera and all that kind of stuff. One was the RTMP, right? Which is a certain way that like you put some codes in and a URL into your, I'm going to oversimplify this, into your software that then would reach out to Twitter. They would make a connection and I would be able to stream. So that's one way to do it. And there were benefits to doing it that way because you had a little more control over things and so on and so forth. Um, but there is another way to do it called API. So that is a way for two computer programs to connect directly without you having to do all this other stuff. Like basically you just have to log in and it makes a connection if the connection is there to be made. So I'm like, let's see what happens. Cause I knew that vMix has that option. So I went in and I did that a couple of days ago and I went to my Twitter feed to look for it. And I could not find it there. Um, but a little later when I came in and I was poking around in the analytics, I found that um, it actually had worked. So for what it is worth, I was able to do that a couple of days ago. So for giggles, I went in and I just did it again. Um, now, let me see if I can get into, I want to see if it's showing up again. Uh, I'm just... Okay, so it is showing up now. Okay, so I'm just going to show you. We go here. I scroll down. This is my feed. So I am evidently still able to stream there. Now it's going to be a little delayed, but I'll wave and then you'll see that in a second. 
Um, but I am actually there and you can see it. So that's interesting to me that it's still there and you can find it. Now, of course, the problem with Twitter has always been discoverability. Like nobody ever really finds it. But the reason I thought to try that, let me make that go away, uh, was because when I went back and I looked at stuff later, uh, wait, I need the cursor. When I was looking at the analytics after I did that little test and I couldn't verify that it was there, uh, here it is. I noticed this. Okay, so that's that was my first clue that you actually could still connect via an API to go ahead and stream. And so I streamed, you know, a couple of people saw it and all that kind of good stuff. And I was like, hmm, interesting. So that's why I tried it tonight. And sure enough, if we look up here, we can see that it is showing up here as well as, you know, being a broadcast. So that's sort of interesting. I, you know, I wouldn't get too excited uh, because, you know, let's be real, it's not going to last. But it is there right now. But also keep in mind, okay, so now I've done two in the past couple of days, right? But still, when I go in and I try to look at analytics for my videos, it says I haven't done any. So everything is a mess, right? The data doesn't jive with the other data that you're getting from it in this moment in time. Okay, so it is uh, April 27th, 2023. So in this moment in time, you can still connect, at least through vMix. I'm, I don't have any other toys to try that uh, have an API connection. Maybe I'll try later. But I am able to stream. I'm streaming right now to Twitter using that with all of my stuff, the lower thirds and all that, and they're going to Twitter. But I, I would not bet the ranch on this lasting for long. So if you are out there and you have been relying on Twitter to do your stuff, um, if that's where you've been com communicating with your audience, um, then you're going to want to reach out. So like, you know, <laughs> thank goodness for Marcus, not depending on Twitter. Good move. I never depended on it. I just, since I can stream the three places with vMix, I, I, I went ahead and I did it. Um, never got a whole lot of followings on it and all that kind of stuff. But, um, yeah, if you are relying on it, if that has been your main way of getting your content out there, it is past time. You need to find another place to go because this is not going to last. Um, and there's a bunch of different places to go, a bunch of different options. So that's the good news. Uh, but the reality is psh, it's just not, it's not going to last. It's not going to be there. Now, the other thing that I have heard as I've been going around and, you know, Researching this in all the various places, there is a lot of chatter, and I'm sure it's just supposition. I don't think anybody has any insight, you know, from any decisions that are being made. But one of the theories is, given again the other patterns that we're seeing lately, that maybe it would become available again if you're paying for it. So either if you're paying for a special level of the account, which forget it, I'm not doing that, you're not getting my money. Um, or maybe if you're doing ads and let me show you why there might be some weight behind the ads theory. So if you go into, and again, all the links are in the description, but if you go into the ads stuff, it does talk right away. Like it's got, you know, different things on it, but Twitter live is featured on here. So it could be that if you are using ads, that maybe you would be able to do it that way. Um, again, I'm not going to spend the money to research it. I'm not going to write any, I'm not sending them any money. Um, but that's something that might be worth researching if this is really critical to you. Uh, but again, I would not, um, bet the ranch on it. I would not expect anything that happens there to be long-term except things going away. Cause that does seem to be, once things go away, that does seem to be it. Um, but that's where we're at. The other thing that I'll just throw out there, for, especially for my vMix folks, is uh, vMix Social did have a way that you could connect to Twitter. It was always kind of messy because it didn't really pull in your live stream because that was just always a mess. I was hoping they would fix it, but they're not going to, obviously. Um, it doesn't even connect anymore. It throws up the arrow when you try to connect. So I have a feeling that this connection that we've currently got with the API is probably going to be short-lived because I think they just haven't gotten around. It didn't occur to somebody to go ahead and turn that particular switch off as well. I wish, again, I would have better news for you, but basically anytime I feel like Twitter comes up, it's just going to be bad news. Um, but I did want to address it because I have been getting so many people reaching out. 
Um, and I wanted to provide the information that I have for you. Um, and it is, uh, it is good in the moment and tomorrow will be a different day and something else will happen. But that is, that is what I have for you. Um, I don't think there was anything else I needed to show you. I think that covers it. Yeah. So I hope that you find something. I hope we all find something that is really good for real time kind of stuff. Um, basically I've been checking out, uh, YouTube for that kind of stuff lately because you, it's, there's a bunch of different ways to go live from different devices on that. Um, so far I'm not getting like the local kind of news that I was hoping for. And that's, that's the one thing that I do miss from Twitter, um, is when like something happens in the moment, being able to go and see if other people are talking about the same thing or being able to see like video from where it's happening. I do miss that. Um, and I haven't found a good replacement. So if you have a recommendation, please go ahead and throw that in the comments. I would love to hear. But um, that's where we're at. That's all I've got for you. I wish it was better news. Marcus, right? Exactly. Tomorrow will be a different day and a whole nother planet um, over in Twitter. <laughs> so it is what it is. Um, but I understand why people are, are upset and freaked out because there was no mention of it. And I have found no mention online about this. So that's why I wanted to make sure I got out here and uh, gave you that update. Because, uh, you know, if you've been relying on it, it, it is definitely a problem. Um, and hopefully you can try the API and hopefully that will at least bridge the gap short term until you get the word out about wherever it else it is that you're going to go, because that is really your only option right now. Um, the other thing, OK, so the other question is going to come up. So let me just be a little ahead of the curve on this is uploading video. Uploading video is still an option. Um, I saw the option on my phone. I saw it um, from the desktop. So in the moment, if you have a pre-recorded bit that you, you can go ahead and put that up there, a pre-recorded file, not a bit. Um, again, it's not going to last long because they're evidently cleaning out videos on a pretty regular basis. Um, but if that's another way for you to get the word out, then you might want to look into that for a little while. But again, I, I would expect that to go away. As far as spaces goes, I still have not heard anything official. Um, I, they're still there. It is still there as an option when I went in. So I don't know. I mean, that's, you know, audio files are smaller, so maybe that will get to last longer. But um, it, he's been pretty clear that he's not interested in any of that. So for what it's worth, that that is still there in this moment. We'll see what happens when we turn the page. All right. So is there anything else? I think that's basically it. That is, that is it. Right. Okay. So, um, if you have any questions, comments, if you need help with anything, you can go ahead and reach out your techcoach.com. Um, there's a contact form there. If it's a quick thing, I will answer it by email. Just make sure you give me your email. Um, or if you just have a topic you want me to cover show idea, whatever, go ahead and pop that in there. Um, that's where all the best shows come from. So I really do appreciate when you do that. Um, and, um, Thank you to everybody who showed up in the chat. I appreciate that. It's always good to have people uh, interacting in the chat. But if you're watching this on a replay, feel free to go ahead and uh, drop your comments, your questions into the comments. I do come back and check them. Just keep in mind, there's one of me and many of you, so it does take a little time sometimes. Um, but that's another good way to uh, keep this conversation going. And if you find out anything new, please do share because it is a ongoing situation that will keep changing, I'm sure. All right, everybody, I hope that your week is going well and that you will be going uh, to have a, a good weekend soon. Um, I know for some of us, it's already the weekend. Uh, for the rest of us, we got one more day to get through and then we get our weekend. Um, I hope everybody is well and we will talk again soon. Bye.